Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you my weekly cleaning routine and schedule. I'll go through each day and what I try to accomplish to make my day easier as a homemaker and as a mother of a newborn and a toddler. So I've had several people ask what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and how I maintain my home. And so I thought it would be fun to share with you and hopefully give you tips on how I maintain my home. And I keep a daily list of what I want to get done. And it's something you can put on your fridge. I have a frame that I have with the days and what I want to accomplish that day that I can check off with a marker and then erase it and start over for the next week. That would also make it helpful for your husband to help if that's something that you have talked about doing or your kids can help with that. And I hope this is just beneficial for you. So on Mondays, I typically do sheets and towels for washing. Now, I will tell you my daily cleaning consists of things like laundry every day, just clothes and other towels. Um, other things like that. Dishes, of course, is something you're not just gonna let pile up all week long. Um, wiping glass, so like mirrors, my windows where fingerprints happen, that's almost a daily thing for me. That's something that you just do. For me, I just do it. If I see it's dirty, it takes 10 seconds to get my Norwex glass cloth and wipe it off. Um, what's another thing? Oh, a quick sink wipe down in the bathroom. I don't wait till one particular day to clean my bathroom. I do a deep clean on this particular day, but every other day I potentially wipe down my sink and my floor because bathrooms just get gross. Um, and of course I just, I wipe down counters and sometimes if I just see something, I'm going to wipe it down and take care of it. So it's not something that I just like, Oh, I'm going to leave it and wait till that particular day to clean. So Mondays are sheets and towels. And I have one extra set of sheets for our bed in our bedroom. And then my toddler has two extra sheets and we do have extra for a guest bed, but I do try to keep it pretty minimal. And that's why I wash sheets once a week. Some people do it more than that in the summer. Sometimes I will do it twice a week because we're more sweaty and gross and it gets hotter. All right, Tuesdays, I will do some dusting and vacuuming of the carpets. Now this can vary per day. Let's say we're gone all day Tuesday. I will just transition that to another day. It doesn't always have to stick with this day, but I do like to dust almost twice a week because we live on a dustier, busier road. And then vacuuming, after you dust, you go and vacuum what potentially has fallen on the carpets, if you have carpet, and get that all clean. And that's something that I can do when my toddler's around and my newborn sleeping, or if I'm holding her, I can even do all of these things. Wednesday, this I have stuck with for years. I always do a kitchen clean on Wednesday evening. So that consists of wiping down my microwave and my oven and stove, um, doing some cleaning of the sink with a magic eraser, getting it nice and shiny. Also using some other products to help it get cleaner and not just have it grimy and gross because sinks just, they get used a lot and they get gross. So just doing more of a deep clean, wiping down the chairs when you have kids, fingerprints happen, stickiness happens on all the chairs, um, the seats, the backs of them, getting that all wiped down. And then I will finish with a mopping of my floor. And this is something you've seen me do in a lot of my homemaking videos. I just take my Swiffer duster and put a, a microfiber cloth on it and some floor cleaner on the floor and just go doing that. I don't have an actual mop. So that is Wednesday with a pretty massive kitchen clean. And then Thursdays, I for sure do a deep clean of the bathroom. Like I said before, I'll do some wipe downs of the sink, which takes two minutes to wipe down the bathroom on just a daily basis. But then a deep clean, I'll make sure I get behind the sinks, get all the toothpaste off the walls, wipe the walls because you can't see some things that splatter on the walls behind the toilet. Wipe down the toilet, really clean my bathtub, just make sure it is really clean. And then Fridays, again, I will dust again if I have the time because if we have company coming for the weekends or friends coming over, 
I don't like to have a little film on my flat surfaces of dust. And then I will mop all the other hardwood. So in our hallway, and mopping to me is getting on my hands and knees and wiping it down. Um, or I will use the Swiffer again. In our master bedroom, we have real hardwood and then my daughter's bedroom. Um, and if need be, I'll do another spot clean in the kitchen with the hardwood. And this to me is important just to get all that dust and grime. And again, that will vary per day on if we're home or not, uh, what is happening throughout that day. But that is kind of the rolling list I've had for a while and things like that. Then if I have it up on my wall, my husband can help me. Um, with certain things as well and Friday is always garbage day. I of course in the summer we take our garbage out almost daily because it gets stinkier but we always make sure to take our garbages out. I just empty all the garbages for sure on Friday and take them down because we have garbage pickup and a recycling and that's just something again I keep up with almost on a daily basis because I do have a smaller kitchen garbage. I only have a 13 gallon and that way to me I empty it sooner so it doesn't stink as often. So that's just one thing I like to do as well. So that is my weekly cleaning that I have that I try to maintain throughout the week. And I try not to get too uptight about that schedule, especially now with almost a um, one month old baby and a toddler because it's hard, as many of you know who are moms or have had kids in the past, it is difficult to sometimes keep up on those schedules if life throws uncertain things at you. So I just thought that'd be fun to share with you and hopefully give you inspiration just to break up your cleaning to um, little tasks every day. That way you don't have to have it pile up all on one day or on the weekend if you're a working mom or just a working single person as well. So anyways, I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video next week Tuesday. Mm -hmm.